So, so Mark, I was just wondering if you might help us with um, another question. Sure. So, how how would you see a society in terms of the relationship between uh, religion, religions, uh -huh. and the public sphere? Because there's clearly an ongoing debate about where kind of lines of power should be drawn and bishops sitting in the House of Lords. Sure. And I'm just wondering, how, what's your take on that? Yeah, sure. I, I suppose my full take would be quite difficult to lay out all at once. But I, but I, I suppose so as a starting point, point yeah, as a, <laughs> sure. As a starting point, I wanted to question the very setting up of the categories, right? Right. So that we have we have this thing called the public sphere, and this is the larger reality, the neutral reality, mm -hmm. and all the religions somehow fit inside of that. Whereas I would argue most religions, that's just not how they see themselves. And they see, they see what constitutes the larger reality as something other than the public sphere. And so asking them, hey, fit into this neutral public sphere, first of all, it's not neutral. Second of all, it's asking them to understand themselves in a way they don't actually understand themselves. So not only is it neutral, but it's actually unfair, I think, to religions um, to can ask them. I, can I, can I sure. just check that I've understood what you've said? Sure. So, um, so um, a, a, a world religion m would acknowledge a much bigger dimension to life than this, and sure. that the political sphere of the country that they happen to be in isn't the be-all and end-all, because sure. they've got a, a bigger picture of reality than that. Is there no reason why they can still be asked to participate in that public sphere as members of that community? No, sure. I think that's I, I think that's absolutely fair. Okay. I think, and, and unfortunately, I think the debate is moving away from this. But for a long time, they were they were told you can participate, but on the terms set by the public sphere. Oh. But the public right. sphere is setting terms that goes against their own self understanding. I see. So so yes, come 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 to participate in the public sphere. But the things that are most important to you actually don't bring right. in right. to the conversation. Okay, so leave all that outside. Yeah, okay. that's right. And and I think I think too part of the trouble is is the understanding that the public sphere again is this neutral place, and that these religions are that the religions are um, some sort how to somehow smaller categories within a larger whole, which again I just don't think that's the the, the self-understanding okay. of of the religions. Mm -hmm. I, I think what we categorize as a religion, if, if you were to give the characteristics this is a religion, many of the religions would say, no, that's okay. that's not what I mean. I, I guess a way, a, a more, an easier way to put this is I had, I once had a mentor who was a, a professor at a very, I won't say which university, but one everyone would know, a very renowned university. Um, and he was asked, he, he, had, he, he was, had once asked someone, um, would you come teach religion in our theology and religious studies department? Um, and this, this person was from a religion other than the religion which was the predominant one at this department. And the, the person told him, no, I can't because what I believe is in a religion, it's not all the categories that are supposed to go into religious studies is not, those categories don't fit what I actually believe in practice. Um, so what sorts of things are typically part of the definition of a religion that a religious person wouldn't recognize? Can you give us an example of that? Yeah, so I think, I mean, and I think one of the ideas is that a religion is, is a worldview. But then it's an idea, okay, so I'm one worldview amongst the other worldviews. Uh, and other, okay. and, and I, for the religion, no, the, again, you're making the religion smaller than the whole of, okay. the whole of the reality. Whereas for the religious believer, no, there is no larger... The religion isn't a smaller part of a larger whole. The religion is the larger whole, and the public sphere and all these things are the smaller parts of it. Right. Whereas I think often the public, the, the neutral public space discourse assumes the public space is the larger whole and all the religions have to fit yeah. with inside of it. Right. And, and the only way they can come is if they admit, yes, we are smaller than the whole. Does, does that make... Yeah. Sorry, I know that's a bit vague, but yeah, I, I, think, I think that's... I've got that. So, um, I, I think that's... so in terms of the relationship between the two, what, what, way, what have you got any thoughts about how that might unfold? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think, I, and again, I think, fortunately, the, the discourse and the debate is moving more and more in this way, but I think religious believers should come to the public sphere um, um, 
without hiding what actually matters to them, without okay. pretending. Okay. Okay. If, it, if it doesn't fit in, don't pretend to fit in. Right. Don't, I shouldn't say don't pretend, don't, don't feel forced to, don't yeah. feel forced to, to fit Bend in. To yeah, fit yeah, in. right, don't, don't. And again, that th there's a such thing as a neutral public sphere includes all kinds of assumptions. Right. And, 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 and if your religion, again, religion, doesn't hold to those assumptions, then that your religion may rightfully say, hey, there is no such thing as this public sphere that you're inviting me to come into. Right. Um, and, and so I think it's just important to not ask religious believers of any religion mm -hmm. to, to compromise their sort of understanding of things for the sake of being part of something they would argue doesn't neutrally exist anyway. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you very much indeed. It's yeah. been very kind of you to come along. Well, thank you. It's a us. pleasure. It was a pleasure to thank meet you, you and to, to do this. Yeah, thank you.